Hey there magic one, just before we get into your tarot reading I wanted to jump in super quick, I promise, just with a few announcements for you. Should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself, you can do so at any time by either clicking the link to my website down below or visiting wildlotustarot.com. I do have a new little offering which I think is, is kind of cute. It's actually the most affordable way to get guidance from me and in that reading I draw you a single tarot card from the beautiful Star Child Tarot and write you a handwritten letter about my interpretation of that card for you and I post it to your letterbox. You can now show your support by becoming a member of my channel. If you head to my channel page and click the join button, there's a video there where I describe in detail what I'm offering for my two different levels of membership. Don't forget the doors are always open to the initiation. That is my immersive learn tarot journey. You can sign up at any time and receive lifetime access to all of the learning materials, videos, online learning modules, practices. Uh, and in that course, I, I am teaching my signature process to learn how to read tarot, not just from the head, but from the heart um, and go beyond the traditional card meanings and, and how to put it all together and thread it into a story as well. So that's available at any time. I'll also link that down below for you. You can find me on Instagram if you'd like to stay connected and hear a little bit more about me. Uh, you can find the link down below or you can find me at wild underscore lotus underscore tarot. I would love to have you over there with me as well. Till next time, sending you so much love and magic. Let's get on with your reading. Welcome to your tarot reading from May 25th through to the 29th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. We've got the uh, nine card block, three recent past, three focused energy, three future outcome, selection of oracles, a lead tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. So we are dealing in the realm of partnership. This is not limited to romantic partnership, but it will be for many of you. We've got a lot of pentacles here as well. So this could be in um, partnership with an organization that you work with, or um, you know, it can be friendship as well, or colleagueship. Um, but yeah, we obviously have the Two of Cups here, which can indicate that this is some kind of soul contract, soul mateship. So we will get to that. Um, I've got light in the unexpected here, Libra. And this can mean that there might be some unexpected um, change. There might be somebody unexpected coming in for you with the Knight of Cups here. But it's light in the unexpected. So it feels like you are in a little bit more of a time of challenge or struggle at the moment. But it's all kind of leading somewhere. Like the universe is saying there really is um, the sun energy coming through for you. Now I've got integrate your knowing here. Now this is a real energy of trusting your intuition and now actually beginning to act on it. So you might be feeling within you that, you know, um, it's time for change. You might be feeling within you that it's time to release or let go of, of a partnership or a connection. And the cards are saying, you know what? integrate your knowing it's time to take action there will be light in the unexpected light in the darkness and maybe you just need to libra surrender to the divine okay this energy here says um, that there is a bigger plan playing out here and release that control and you know in some respects it's about being carried with that breeze um it's interesting because the Five of Swords is your lead tarot energy. And for me, this is really a, a battling energy. It's an energy of conflict. So you might have been really fighting or pushing to, to keep a partnership together. And the cards are saying, well, maybe it's time to just put down those, um, you know, those weapons um, and just surrender to the divine and, and allow it to take its course here. So the Five of Swords can be, you know, a situation that's become harsh or abrasive, um, something that's become a battle, um, something that's very, very energy intensive. And often the message with the Five of Swords is that there really aren't any winners here. And it's really just not a matter of, um, it's not if, but it's when it's time to, to retreat, surrender and walk away. So that is the energy here. I'm just reading the energy that has come out. Obviously, I've got the Three of Swords in the reading as well. So I am feeling completion energies here. Okay, and the Two of Cups indicates that we are dealing in soul partnership here. 
So we've got the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Cups and the Hanged Man in your recent past or the energy that will be upon you very soon. Now the Knight of Cups is generally um, a new person entering your realm, okay? Um, so this could be, for some of you, that there's somebody else that has come through that has given you some kind of offer and there is a lot of feelings here there is a lot of potential you feel with the ten of cups and this has been the catalyst for you reassessing reevaluating your current connection um because i read energetic patterns this is not necessarily in romantic love if this is in work business career for you this could be a new offer of work that feels on purpose that's going to fill your cup that has really questioned the contract or partnership that you're in with your current place of work organization okay so the knight of cups it's something new it's generally not a resurgence or resurgence or reconnection energy in your current situation let me go through the signs i've got here i have got uh pisces for me with the knight of cups aquarius and with a star and sagittarius with the temperance energy you may or may not be um, dealing with one of those signs so this has really put you on pause, hanged man. And there's a sense of your hands being tied here, Libra, because I feel like you're in a, a previous contract or connection. So as the hanged man, you're waiting for that enlightenment. Like you're trying to figure out, you know, what should I do here? Um, how can I navigate through this? What is the answer? Okay. And I think it has come out of the blue, you know, with this card here. But if you're honest with yourself, your knowing has already told you that, you know, potentially um, all, all wasn't complete where you were in your current situation. Now, the Hanged Man is number 12 in the Major Arcana and the Death Card is number 13. Temperance down here is number 14. So the step in between the Hanged Man and the Temperance is an ending, which I think is, is, resonate, is, um, sorry, is indicated by the Three of Swords in this reading. So often I say with the Hanged Man energy, we actually need to die the death of the hanged man in order to get to a freedom, a liberation or a higher, you know, realm of vibration here or a happier outcome because where we're at right now isn't in alignment. And I can see that because you're sitting in the five of swords, you're sitting in conflict or fighting for something that maybe wants to end that has become the battle that you fight. And if we turn around the hanged man, the way that we get unstuck is by accepting the world energy this is the same posture that the dancer on the world card which is the last major arcana card has so it's like we're resisting the ending we're resisting a cycle uh, or a season in our lives that's no longer giving us the growth or the outcome that we want you know sometimes we just need to surrender to the divine integrate our knowing and allow that to to complete okay so the three of swords seven and eight of pentacles here um, I feel like this, this is the ending here, the Three of Swords. It feels like there is some pain, some levels of pain associated with it. There always is, even if we are the instigator of the ending. But the Seven of Pentacles at the center of this reading indicates to me that, you know, you definitely weren't happy with the energy, um, the, you know, emotional connection, uh, the satisfaction that you were getting from the situation. I think that you've invested a lot of work fighting to keep this together but you kind of are awakening this week to the fact that I think I've gone as far as I can with that you know what I'm literally ready to put these tools down these weapons down and I just don't want to push anymore I just want to surrender and I feel that the energy that will result from that is the three of swords and that is an ending and it's because I think this catalyst offer that feels really heartfelt and feels really exciting has come in for you so down here on the other side of that severing of ties i've got the star temperance and the six of pentacles now this is all about healing and rebalancing so it feels like the situation that you're in currently is really out of balance for you on many different levels and the way to restore harmony and karmic balance is to allow that ending to happen now what I love about the star is that we see the reference to divine guidance here with this big bright light. So you are being guided maybe by a guardian angel or somebody on the other side. Because we've got both of these cards together here um, or definitely your angel spirits guides. And it's trying to lead you in the direction of 
you know, bigger hopes, dreams and wishes, you know, really feeling like things are in alignment for you. Yes, it feels vulnerable as you literally tip out those two cups and send it back to the earth. But know that very soon there will be a new two cups that are more in balance for you that, you know, really are your next chapter here. I feel like there's a new path emerging for you. Literally, we see that reference to the sun energy that I was talking about before. And this time you are going to have an even give and take situation, not just a seven of pentacles situation where it's like, I'm getting just what I, you know, is enough to keep me in the situation and keep me from leaving, but I'm not getting enough to head through to the 10 of pentacles, okay, where we're living this blessed life, we feel blessed every day, high vibrational living, but the promise of this nine of cups is, you know, entering into those, those higher phases, so let's get another card, so an unexpected emotional offer is coming, page of pentacles and it says if you can plant the seeds here this can grow but it's all very much in its early stages you will need to have patience and keep putting the work in king of pentacles that's interesting because this is the card of taurus you know we are in taurus season now and um the king of pentacles stands for somebody you can trust loyalty um, you know high level commitment it's the it's the reference to the hierophant energy and somebody who is very, very grounded, um, stable, is in the time and phase of their life where they are, they are balanced and, you know, that can give, give back to a connection. Somebody who's a mature in their king energy. Um, it's a really, really beautiful energy, this king of pentacles, someone that you can build stability with should you invest in this. So that's what I have for you, Libra. And I would say surrender to the divine. Stop fighting for what feels like it's it's ready to leave your life and just see where that karmic breeze carries you. So Libra, I'm going to leave it there and wish you all the best with the situation. Do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective. It may or may not be for you. Drop me a comment if you're called to share though. I do read them all and try to connect with you all over there. Um, hit subscribe if you haven't already. That way you'll know when I post new videos and it helps support the channel. So it's a great energy exchange between us, as is when you like, share and comment on the video. It's been a pleasure to read your cards, Libra. I will see you back here for another one next week. Bye for now.